Obviously, yep. extremely early in the process, but how do you see the assimilation going in the learning process and the teaching? Uh, it's been good. You know, two practices in, guys have a lot to learn, you know, mainly just how to practice and how to stay up. Uh, but uh, we've been really pleased with it thus far. What are you seeing, I guess, from yourself being in this role and position with a new organization? Yeah, it's been it's been really fun. It's been really rewarding to work with really good people, starting with Coach Allen. And, uh, you know, we got some really good coaches on our offensive staff. So we're gelling together as a staff as well as getting our players better. Clint, when you're working with, a, like, a lot of veteran players, understanding a new playbook, new system, um, guys who've maybe been in a system for a long time, um, it, what's kind of, like, your, your thing where you're trying to – like, like, what's your big thing that you want these guys to take away from like, the early part of this? This time of year, it's all teaching, you know, yeah. in, installation and trying to slow it down, you know, starting from scratch and not assuming anything, just trying to be really good at the details and just understanding, like you said, there's there's first year guys, rookies, and we got 13 year veterans. So uh, we're just we're going to keep it simple initially and just make sure we're, you know, we're just detailed. Clint, do you envision utilizing uh, Alvin Kamara very similar to McCaffrey? Yeah, I think uh, it, it'll be really fun to work with Alvin. You know, he's got a great skill set that we can do a lot of things with. So uh, I think it's just up to us as coaches identifying those things and, and him putting in the work. Um, you know, one of the things with the, the Sean Payton offense that we've seen for a long time here is like kind of famous for those really long play calls. Like, how, how would you describe the movement of your offense? Like, what, what are you trying to do? Yeah, um, well, I can't speak for that for coach. You know, I would say that. Uh, you know, we're, we're a West Coast offense for whatever that, that means to everybody. You know, we're going to be as probably as wordy as the quarterback can handle, and I think our quarterback is very a very smart player. He can handle a lot. Um, so uh, I think, you know, we're going to challenge him early this time of year in the offseason and him and his teammates and see what they can handle. Why did you feel like New Orleans was the right place for the next step in your career? Um, I think it just came down to the people that you're working with. Uh, Coach Allen gave me an opportunity and Mickey Loomis. You know, getting to work with guys that I've I've worked with before and been in the fire with, like Rick Dennison and Andrew Janoco, um, and some new coaches that I'm learning that are I'm really impressed with. So um, it, it all comes down to the people. It's a hard hard job with long hours, so you got to be around people that you respect and have your back, and we have that here. And Clint, how much does it help that you do have a veteran quarterback that you can you know that can handle the verbs? Because obviously you want to you want to accelerate the process as much as you can. Oh, it helps tremendously, and Derek has. He's had a really good offseason thus far. He's putting in the work. He's here after hours, um, just really studies his tail off. And then his, his teammates see how hard he works, and he brings our level of play up as well. But if there were a couple things that, that you would say define your kind of like philosophy, like what would a couple of those things be? You know, we're, we're just stressing the players this time of year to be smart, tough, and dependable. And regardless of the scheme and what that brings, you know, if we can just start with that, we'll be in good shape come training camp as we keep working. And just, what was it about Spencer Rowley that really popped off for you all to want to draft him? And how does he look to day one for you? Well, I think, you know, our scouting department did a great job of, uh, you know, identifying all the players that we've drafted. But, um, we like we like a lot of things about Spencer, but the things that take no talent, you know, and to me that is his attention to detail really stuck out. You know, his effort, uh, his drive to be better, you know, to me that doesn't take a whole lot of talent. It's something that's inside, and uh, he has that in spades. How has that looked already in take one? Yeah, it's, it's two days into it. It's two practices into it. He has been um, excellent as well as Kellen Mond in the, in the meeting room. So uh, it's been a positive start. How about uh, Talios of Fuaga? He, he... Seemed like of all the offensive tackles you guys were scouting in round one, had done the most wide zone run blocking. I mean, does he feel like a good fit for this offense in particular? Yeah, we, we definitely think so. And we, we love the person. We love his work ethic. And um, we love the type of teammate that he was at Oregon State. So uh, amongst all the, sk the skills that made him a first round draft pick, it's the, really the uh, intangibles that he brings that we're, we're looking forward to. And I know Coach said you guys are going to look at him at left tackle because you've seen him at right tackle. What, what about him makes you think he could possibly be good at either position? Oh, he's a tremendous athlete. You know, we identified that early, just how athletic he is, how mean he is, you know, in a good way. And uh, we definitely wanted it. See what he looks like at left for this camp. How do you think so far he's handled the mental load of doing that, switching positions, just yeah. in addition to everything else the rookies are kind of learning now? Yeah, well, one of the huge reasons we drafted him was his intelligence, you know, and uh, he's been just like all the other guys, putting in a lot of work. Um, he came out and definitely has has not disappointed, but it, again, it's two days into it, and we're not going to crown anybody or go the other way on the first two days, but we are happy with what we got thus far. To that point, how has Bub looked to you in the first two days? Yeah. 
Bub, Bub is in the same way. You know, he's he brings a lot of positive energy. He's got a big smile on his face. He really likes football, which is important because uh, we're here long hours, and you got to love it in order to, to be a, a great player. So he's had a good first step. When, um, when you look at Derek's season last year, it's obviously some, some highs and lows. You get that with every quarterback. But like, like what, what was kind of the, the main takeaway for you when you were kind of going back and looking through all that? And you know, how, do you, how do you pull more of the highs out? Yeah, well, I mean, I've followed his career since he's been drafted out of Fresno State. So I've seen, you know, I've been in his division and see him come back and, and beat us many times. So he's got a lot of talent. He's been with some really intelligent coaches. Um, so uh, he has a lot of football up in his mind right now. And we're just trying to uh, slowly install our system and, and take it one day at a time. And, you know, uh, the main thing I'd say about that is I think he just has a grit about him. And I really love his grit and his smarts. And that's something that we're just going to keep building on with him. Is, is there anything about what you've seen with him in the past that makes him a really good match for this system from the get-go? Athleticism. You know, he's a really good athlete. You know, I think uh, that's something that's not said enough about him. So, um, but no, that, that's that's the main thing that I saw. Uh, Taysom Hill has obviously had like a really unique role in, in this in, in the offense they've, they've ran here for a long time. I, I don't know if that fits what what you do in your scheme, but like you have to kind of look at what he did and try to figure out how it works in that. Yes, uh, you know, Taysom has been phenomenal here early. Um, we've been kind of moving him in a lot of spots I, as he's done his entire career, really intelligent guy. So we're looking forward to just kind of, you know, you know, giving him a lot of a lot of volume early and uh, then we'll start narrowing it down as we get closer to the season. What, what are some of the things just from last year being in San Francisco that you feel like were maybe influential on you or were maybe like a learning experience or eye opening or anything like that? Yeah, I, I would say just the entire organization, you know, uh, started with Kyle, the way that he runs the team and he runs the offense. And uh, it was just a real pleasure to be around him last year and, and see his work ethic and see how he treats his players and that, you know, the way that he game plans.